everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a video that I quite enjoy doing. It is doing a full face of makeup using subscription box makeup. Now, it does take me a little while to kind of collect all the items. So that's why I don't get to do these videos very often. But when I finally do get to collect everything, I really do enjoy testing everything out on camera. So that is what we are doing today. Um, now, as you guys know, <laughs> my Ipsy did not show up on time. It showed up way later than my Sephora play. And it, oh my gosh, it practically just got here. So um, I'm gonna do a very, very quick unboxing, nothing too much. Um, now me and my friend, we did buy each a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. This is my favorite liquid lipstick. She got the shade Crush, which is kind of like a light peachy color. Um, and I got the shade Girlfriend. They were on sale for like 12 bucks. <laughs> yeah, so those were definitely worth buying. Um, of course, I got a brand new Vasanti eyesh contour eyeshadow brush. Um, super excited about that. Um, and of course, the add-on that I picked out was the Elemis Superfood Night Cream. Um, I actually really enjoy this brand. It is newer skincare, I believe, to Ulta. Um, but so far, the items that I've tried out, I've really enjoyed. So this was the bag. Really, really cute. Lemons. I like that the, the zipper is in the front and not necessarily at the top. Not gonna go through the card because um, they're late. So we got the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Two Minute Polishing Peel. We got the Moods Laura Sanchez. What is this? Oh, eyeshadow, okay. So let's see. It's really, really cute packaging. Really cute packaging. Um, Oh, okay. I was going to say at first it was upside down, but if you open up the package, then it is a full picture. So I get it. Um, oh, it's a really, really pretty color. We're going to have to use this in our t video today. Let's see what else we got. We have the Balm Cream Lip Stain. I've never used a Balm lip product before, so this actually might have to go in today's video. I'm really excited about that. Uh, we have a fan brush from Billion Dollar Brushes. And we have the Tarte base tape. This is a hydrating primer. Nice. I really enjoy the brand Tarte, so this will be fun to try out. All right, so that's all the products from the FC bag. So let's go ahead and get started with our full face using subscription box makeup. Gosh, I hope this goes good. Okay, so starting with eyes, um, I've received three eyeshadows, um, all of them being shimmer, so I'm going to have to pull in um, some matte shades, but I think I'm gonna go with this new one from Ipsy from this mood Laura Sanchez It looks really really pretty. I'm just gonna pull in just a light tan shade uh, on my eyebrow first so pretty um so i'm gonna go in with a dry brush first and let's see how it performs oof got a lot on my brush from just a couple strokes i didn't even press very hard so let's see oh wow <laughs> that's awesome oh that is such a pretty color <gasps> Wow. Wow. For eyeliner, I have the, the deuce, the douse. A uh, fierce and fine graphic pen. So this is what the tip looks like. All right, so let's see how this works. Hopefully it doesn't bleed and ruin the eyeshadow. All 
All right, so I don't have a steady hand, so you know I did go on a little bit thicker um, than I would like to. I don't think it is the blackest black I've ever worked with for an eyeliner. Hmm, not bad. Let's go ahead and prime our face. So I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've never ever used a, um, a Milk Makeup product before, so this is exciting. And I guess this is a new product as well. So, ew, it is definitely a gel. Okay, have you, <laughs> let me just describe what this feels like. Ooh, it's very sticky, very sticky. Have you ever had a sunburn on your face? it for whatever reason uh, and you have had to put aloe on your face that's what this feels like it feels like I'm rubbing aloe vera on my face on a sunburn uh, because it is cold it is sticky that definitely is not going to do anything for my pores so this should be fun <laughs> all right a foundation uh, I received the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. Um, this is in the shade Light Y210. So I did receive this in my Sephora Play. So let's hope that they got a color for me. Ooh, look how shiny it is. You see that? That's kind of cool. That primer really is shiny. Interesting. Huh. And this is what I love about the subscription boxes is because a lot of it is makeup I have not tried before. Yes, you did get repeats and you know my opinion on that. As long as it's something I love, I do not mind getting repeats. It's, some, it's something like uh, maybe a serum or a perfume that I like and I get those over and over again. Then I don't have to buy the full size. How do you not win from that? But yes, I do like trying new stuff. So... Uh, oh, this foundation smells good. All right, I don't have any concealer, and I normally don't go under my eyes with foundation, but today we are going to. Okay, so I feel like the, the shade is not bad at all. Um, I will say. The primer is doing no justice for me, like, at all. It has made my face look really dry. Everything is cracking. I mean, everything is cracking. Um, the pores around my nose. Oh, my God. I can't even hide them. Because. Oh, that's just terrible. I'm gonna look like crap after this. I really, really am. <sighs> all right, that's all I can do. It is, it's just, the foundation is gonna look like crap. That foundation, that primer does nothing for me. <sighs> I really wanna try this foundation with a different primer. Let's move on. Okay, so I did receive the NARS Laguna bronzer, which this is one of their more popular bronzers. See how this works. I don't feel like it's completely unwearable for me though. I feel like maybe in the summertime I could definitely pull it off, not any other time because it is a little bit too dark, but once I start getting out in the sun, going to white water, I feel like I could definitely pull this off. Okay, so for a mascara, I've actually received a lot of mascaras lately. Um, I received the, oops, the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. 
I actually kind of like the wand on that. Um, the Ciate London Mascara, which I really, really want to try. Um, and then the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use two. Um, one for each eye, and I'm just going to see how it works. This is just a, supposed to be a fun video. It's not supposed to be anything serious. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara on my left side and the Ciate Wonderland, Wonder Wand, excuse me. Wonder Wand Mascara on my right side. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and let's put this on the bottom. And you know what? Then I'll be able to test out all three. Okay, so for the Ciate London, I feel that it does give me a little bit of length, but it does nothing for volume. They're very, very skinny. Um, Smashbox does nothing. It does nothing except makes my eyelashes black, which is probably good if you like falsies a lot. Um, that I can see somebody benefiting from that mascara. But for me, someone who doesn't wear false lashes a whole lot, um, I'm not going to benefit from this mascara. Okay, you guys, I just want to throw this quick check in. Um, I've only had this makeup on for maybe, maybe 30 minutes. Look at this. You see all that black underneath my eye? That's my mascara. My eyes are not watery. I haven't cried. It is literally smearing all over my under eye. I will never wear this mascara again. Like, oh my gosh. Look, you can even see the dots. Like, that, 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 from where the end of my lashes was. That is ridiculous. And I, like I said, you can see all the cracks and everything in my face from the foundation because I don't have the right primers and stuff on, but mm-mm, mm-mm. Never again, never again. All right, let's go ahead and jump to brows. So I just received the uh, Brow Power from It Cosmetics. It's in the shade Universal Taupe. Um, I was actually really excited when I got this. I've never tried it before. It feels very luxurious in the hands and it gave a lot of product out. a blush in a long time uh, so I did bring out one I have received before um, I think I have used this in a video before but it is the Tarte blush and this is in the shade party now for highlighter I had just received the Ofra Cosmetics full-size uh, highlighter in the color Star Island I love Ofra highlighters they have quickly become one of my top favorite highlighters so the fact that I got a full size in the Ipsy bag, oh, I wanted to just, I don't know. I really wanted to just celebrate because that is freaking amazing. Like, mm. let's go ahead. I really want to try this lip stain, you guys. So from the balm and the shade Konnichiwa and I'm so excited. Okay, this lip shade, 
with this lid color is gorgeous like I am so in love with this even the blush matches because it's like a pinky blush Wow <laughs> I did not plan that <laughs> Okay, so let's go over everything one more time very quickly. Um, the primer sucked. I'm not going to use that again. I'm going to pass that on. Uh, somebody else might benefit from it. Definitely not my cup of tea. The foundation is a pretty decent shade match. Um, I would love to give this another shot with a different primer because I can see it cracking all over the place. Uh, I can see all my pores but the shade is there. So I think maybe with a good moisturizer and a different primer, I could probably get this to work. And I really, really wanna give this a shot. Um, when it comes to mascaras, I did not like this uh, the Smashbox mascara. I really don't think it did anything. I said it's it's probably good for uh, you know just applying a little bit of mascara before you put on falsies, but that's about it. As far as the Ciate London, um, it's okay like I said it gives me length no volume whatsoever so if you have no volume to your lashes this is probably not gonna be that great the blush I love the highlight oh my god I love it for highlighters I cannot stress that enough love it like look at that glow it's so pretty um, the brow pencil it's okay it's not like the worst thing in the world it's just not my preference when it comes to color that eyeshadow Oh my gosh, this eyeshadow was so pigmented and just, it really packs a punch. Not to mention the color is gorgeous. What is the color anyway? The color's Rose Gold Woman. The, uh, the pink with the little flakes of uh, peachy gold in them. Um, very, very pretty. And this lip tint from The Bomb. Oh my God, I'm just like, I can't stop looking at it. It's such a pretty color. Like, I normally don't like pinks um, on my lips, but this is like, mm, this is perfect. Perfect. The bronzer is really, really nice. I can see why it's one of their best-selling bronzers. It is a little bit more warm tone than I'm used to, but I think in the summertime, it's actually going to be perfect. So I'm really excited that I received this. And it's actually a really decent amount. So very, very, very happy with that one. And my brush fits in it perfectly. I didn't have any problems. I thought it because it was going to be, I thought because it was so small, I was going to have a problem sticking my brush in there, but I really don't. So really happy with that. But uh, yeah, this video was fun to do, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed filming it. I enjoyed filming just because I got to test out a whole bunch of new products. But aside from testing out new products, I do have a video every single Wednesday testing out past products, products that we have in our collections that we still love, that we wanna show love to and wanna use up. Um, so those are my Wednesday videos. So make sure you guys check them out as my Blast from the Past makeup series. I really enjoy those as well. Uh, so yeah, give this video a big old thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.